In 2006, following a win in Raleigh over NC State, the Pirates were headed to a bowl game for the first time since 2001. It's on. We're going bowling. We're going bowling, baby. We're going bowling. The PapaJohns.com Bowl in Birmingham, Alabama, was the first bowl game for Skip Holtz as a head coach, where he took on his future team, the South Florida Bulls. The Bulls' running game got them on the board twice in the first quarter, including a 16-yard run by Benjamin Williams. ECU didn't have much of a ground game, but senior James Pinkney threw for almost 300 yards, including one for a 48-yard score to senior Bobby Good. The Bulls would not give up another score, and ECU lost 24-7. The following year, South Florida was ranked as high as second in the nation. The Pirates made it two bowls in a row in 2007, and this time they were headed to Paradise, the Hawaii Bowl, where after a week of fun in the sun, the Pirates squared off against the Boise State Broncos, a team that a year earlier beat Oklahoma in the Fiesta Bowl, and like in that game for the Broncos, the Pirates were huge underdogs in Honolulu. Chris Johnson emerged as one of the best backs in college football, going 68 yards for the score. He'd set a college bowl record with 408 all-purpose total yards on the day. Johnson would score again in the second quarter, this time on a pass from Patrick Pinckney, and along with backfield mate Dominic Lindsay's two touchdowns, the Pirates went into the half with a 31-14 lead, a lead that would slip away in the fourth quarter with Boise State scoring two touchdowns. In the closing seconds, it would all come down to Ben Hartman. The sophomore's 34-yard field goal as time expired capped off one of the most memorable bowl games of that year. The Pirates had a two-game postseason in 2008, first playing at Tulsa for the Conference USA Championship. Greg Hudson's defense forced David Johnson, the nation's top-rated passer, into a career-high five interceptions. The Pirates became conference champions for the first time in 32 years following the 27-24 win. ECU would play Kentucky in the Liberty Bowl. Senior Brandon Simmons scored the game's first touchdown on a 28-yard run. Patrick Binkney would pass for 286 yards on the day, including an 80-yard strike to Daryl Freeney for a score. ECU went into the half, leading 16-3. Kentucky came racing back in the third, starting with the opening kickoff return for a touchdown. The Wildcats would tie the game up at 19 in the fourth. Several calls did not go the Pirates' way in this one. With three minutes to play, the Wildcats' Ventrell Jenkins scooped and scored on a Patrick Pinckney fumble. Kentucky would hold on to win 25-19. In 2009, Van Eskridge's interception in the end zone sealed the win against Houston, and it was the second straight conference championship for ECU. This time, the Pirates got to celebrate in front of the home crowd at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. The Pirates squared off with Ryan Mallett and the Arkansas Razorbacks in the Liberty Bowl. And for a second straight year, the Pirates jumped out to a great start, leading 10 to nothing at the half. Play action. Arkansas would tie the game up when Tremaine Thomas intercepted the pass and returned it for the touchdown. ECU would take the lead back when Pinkney hooked up with Dwayne Harris for the 13-yard score. With time running out, the game was tied at 17, and Ben Hartman had a chance to win it, kicking a game-winning field goal. He missed. Twice. Hartman would get a chance at redemption in overtime, but would miss a third field goal. Arkansas's kick, it was good, giving the Razorbacks a 2017 win in overtime. A tough loss for the Pirate Nation to swallow. For the Road to the Military Bowl, I'm Bill DiNicola.